We're all lab rat, but you're also the scientist. You create your own self. Most people are missing something because there's so much trapped in there. I'm going to share a little neuroscience tidbit. Love it. But I think it's one that you'll appreciate. Um, most people don't know this, but there's a brain structure called the anterior mid-cingulate cortex. What's interesting about this brain area is there are now a lot of data in humans showing that when people do something they don't want to do, like add three hours of exercise per day or per week, or when people who are trying to diet and lose weight resist eating something. Right. When people do anything that they, and this is the important part, that they don't want to do. Right. It's about adding more work that you don't want to do. Yes. This brain area gets bigger. Now, here's what's especially interesting about this brain area to me. And by the way, I'm only learning this recently mm -hmm. because it's new data, but there's a lot of it. The anterior mid-cingulate cortex is smaller in obese people. It gets bigger when they die. It's larger in athletes. It's especially large or grows larger in people that see themselves as challenged and overcome some challenge. Right. And in people that live a very long time, this area keeps its size. In many ways, scientists are starting to think of the anterior mid-cingulate cortex not just as one of the seats of willpower, right. but perhaps actually the seat of the will to live. And when I learned about the anterior mid-cingulate cortex, I was like almost out of my seat. And I've been in the neuroscience game since I was 20. Nah, we're the we're same talking. age. And I was so pumped because I've heard of the amygdala, fear, prefrontal cortex, it's planning and action. I could tell you every brain area and every, I teach neuroanatomy to medical students, but when I started seeing the data on the anterior mid cingulate cortex, I was like, whoa, this is interesting. And all the data point to the fact that we can build this area up yes, to me that we don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Like if you love the ice bath, yeah, I love the ice bath. You go from one minute to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Your anterior mid cingulate cortex did not grow. None. But if you hate the cold water, mm -hmm. If you're afraid of drowning mm -hmm. and you get into water and put your head under yep. and survive, then the anterior mid cingulate cortex gets bigger. But if you don't do it the next day, or if you do it the next day and you enjoy it, because mm -hmm. hey, hey, I did it yesterday. Woohoo. Happy me. Merry Christmas, as That's you right. would say. Merry Christmas. Guess what? The anterior mid cingulate cortex shrinks again. Yep. To me, this is one of the most important discoveries that neuroscience has ever made mm -hmm. because it's that I don't want to do something, but do it anyway. That's right. That grows this area. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like I have a friend, he's been sober 30 years from alcohol. Mm -hmm. And he always says, you know, the amazing thing about addiction is there's a cure. The problem is it only works one day at a time. Yep. And so you have to renew it every day. That's right. So the anterior mid cingulate cortex to me, when I learned about it, two things went off in my head. Whoa, this is super interesting. And two, I got to tell David Goggins about this. And I waited until I'm now glad. to tell you because I felt like I, well, for obvious reasons, I wanted to tell you here. Well, I love that because that's how I've lived my entire life. I didn't know anything about that, but people go, man, you have such a strong will. It's something that you build. Like I never forget, I was on a podcast one time and this dude goes, you were blessed with a strong mind. The hell are you talking about? I was blessed with a strong mind. You, that's something that you have to develop. You develop that over years, decades of suffering and going back into the suffer. That's why a lot of people who graduate Navy SEAL training, they want to know, I talk about it very openly all the time. A lot of guys don't want to go back into that water. Don't want to go back into the hard stuff. Maybe not anything, anything hard, anything hard in life. Once you get through it, it's like you become a POW. Like how many POWs you know want to go back to POW camp? None. They're happy they graduated. I realized I'm the same way. I don't want to go back. I have to go back. I must go back because that is exactly where all the knowledge of my life exists, was back there and what you're exactly what you're talking about. Well, I, I didn't know anything about this, but how I grew a will was constantly doing these things to now it's just life. I wake up while it still sucks, it's just life. You don't sit back and like, oh my God, like I have days I don't want to do it, but I know I'm going to do it. I know from years of just doing it. So I, that, that's, that's beautiful. And this is why I came on here with you today. And I'm, I'm glad that you're talking about this because human beings need to hear this. They need to stop hearing these hacks on this and that. There's no fucking hack, bro. To grow that thing, how do you grow it? Do it and do it and do it. That's the hack. The hack is gonna fucking suck. And that's what I realized. That's what I realized. Well, I feel like Knowing the name of something, anterior mid cingulate cortex, doesn't fundamentally change us. But one thing I like about biology mm -hmm. is that willpower, if somebody feels they don't have it, right. but everybody, unless they're brain damaged, has two 
anterior mid cingulate cortex, one on each side of their brain. So I feel like it's just a question of opening the portal. And the portal is I think people go, oh, I do hard things. I do sets to failure and then I do force reps. I love training with weights. Mm -hmm. I love doing sets to failure. I even like force reps, but guess what? I like force reps. So I could, I'll tell you, they don't build my anterior mid cingulate cortex. Right. Because I like to do it. That's right. Anything you like to do is not going to enhance this aspect of willpower. And it seems so obvious once you hear it, you kind of go, oh yeah, of course. But I think you really close that loop for people when you're trying to explain the friction is the critical ingredient. Right. And I think people think, oh, if it's effort, well, then I'm getting better. That's part of it, necessary, but not sufficient, as right. we say in science. But the suck part, the haunt, being haunted, the stick, mm -hmm. they're really unpleasant terms. Very. These are probably the most unpleasant terms we've ever used on this podcast. Yeah. Those are the lever. It's the suck part that grows this anterior mid cingulate cortex. So now you know why there's so many people that fail in this world to figure out their purpose in life. Where do I go? Because to grow that, don't look fun. So it's a choice that people have to make in life. But what's so funny about it is even the richest of rich who have everything, they always ask me this question. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't feel like I'm missing shit. I don't have which you all have, but you'll never in my life hear me tell you I'm missing something. Everybody, they're missing this feeling. I found it a long time ago. And I found it right there in that willpower thing. When you're nothing and change yourself into something like me, you find it in the suck and you find it repeatedly in the suck to the point where you know exactly who you are. Most people are missing something because they don't know who they are. They never examine themselves. They, they've never done this experiment on themselves. The lab rat, we're all lab rat, but you're also the scientist. You create your own self. Most people are missing something because there's so much trapped in there. I don't even want to say potential. I think that's where it's used out too much too. There's so much in you that God or wherever the hell you believe in, or if you're an atheist, in you, that you have not un unlocked, that you walk around with this gorgeous wife or, or great husband and all this money. You're like. God, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, because it's about 75% of you is still fucking in there, still chained up because you just didn't want to find your willpower, didn't want to find your soul, your will, your heart, your determination, your guts, your courage. And what that looks like, it looks scary. Like your little scary lab I went in. Scary to wake up every day and say, I'm stupid, but I want to figure out a way to be smart. Versus saying, man, I just can't do that. So you limit this box. So your box becomes so small of things you can do. My box wasn't even a box. It was a fucking little, like, little pinhole. And then through examining myself, getting some willpower, some courage, it became bigger than this table. But that's what we all do. That's why I wanted to come here today and talk to you about real shit. Not no fucking like hacks. There's no hacks, bro. You against you. And if you misunderstand that, you have a real problem. Real problem. I can understand you misunderstand me running down the street, shirt off, fuck this, no, nah, yeah. I can, I can get it. I get it. If you misunderstand what I'm saying right now today, the problem is you, and you don't want to fix it.